Hi, I'm Robert, and today I'm going to show you how I take this image of Seal Beach Pier from here to here, all in Lightroom. This is one of the few times that I went to Seal Beach to photograph the pier. I'm not sure why I don't go here more often. It's a nice looking pier. Parking can be difficult here during summertime, but during wintertime it's not bad. This was a cloudless day, but it's nice that you can see the outline of Catalina along the horizon. The main feature of this image is the birds in the foreground, so I'll be showing you how we can bring them out. I like to work my way from the bottom to the top in the development panel, so let's start at the bottom. Let's make sure we're at the current version. We are, so we'll move up. If I apply a vignette, I'll do it at the end, so we'll skip it for now. Let's make sure this image is straight. Click on Constrain Crop. We'll zoom in on the horizon and use our Rotate tool. That looks better. Always make sure your image is straight, even if your camera has a built-in leveler, it could be slightly off. I shot this on a Canon 40D, which doesn't have a leveler, so all of my images are slightly off, so I always have to double check. Let's move on up. Let's click on Remove Chromatic Aberrations, which is the color fringing you'll see around hard lines. We'll also click Enable Profile Corrections, and we can see I was using a Tokina 11-16 on my Canon 40D. I was also using a three-stop soft edge graduated neutral density filter for this image. The dark area is placed over the sky and the clear area over the foreground to try and even out the exposure. Let's go up to our sharpening. We'll do our standard sharpening routine of 100 and applying the mask. Hold down the Alt key to bring up our mask and we'll scroll up. We want to mask off everything that is the sky so we only sharpen the foreground. We'll skip the color panel for now, but we'll return here. Let's cool this image down just a little bit. It's a little warm. Now we'll open this image up. We'll bring the highlights all the way down, and we'll bring the shadows all the way up. Our histogram is still down towards the left, so let's bring it up just a little bit. We'll bring the histogram up more to the right using the white slider also. No need to adjust the black slider since we're all the way to the left already. Now let's go down to our HSL panel. I'm going to start with the blues. We're going to click on luminance. And we're going to make all of the colors we see in the sky a little bit darker. So we'll go down to blue and we'll do negative 15. We'll do the same for purple because there's a little bit of purple over here. We also have yellow and orange, so let's bring that down just a little bit. So now that we darken the colors in the sky, let's bring the saturation up in those same colors. We can see in the sky that there's a little bit of a purple cast, so let's make the sky a little more blue. We'll go to hue and we'll bring the slider down. If we bring it up, you can see it makes it more purple. If we bring it down, it makes it more blue. Let's do a little more work on the sky. We'll grab our gradient tool and pull it down. Hold down shift to give us a straight line. I want to bring up the exposure a little bit on the top here. It's a little bit dark. That looks good. We'll close our tool. Now let's bring out the exposure in our foreground here so we can see these birds easier. Let's grab the radial tool. We'll place it here and stretch it over all the birds. To make them more visible, we'll just bring up the exposure. There's a few distractions in the sky that I want to take care of. So let's grab our clone stamp. Let's remove this bird here since he was kind of moving and out of focus. We'll remove this one here, and we'll take care of this dust spot. If you don't see this mask overlay, just click this box here. If you don't have this toolbar, just press T for toolbar. And let's close our tool. The final step of this image is to add a slight vignette. I'm just going to add a small amount. A vignette adds darkening to all the corners of the image and helps draw your eye in towards the center. I was trying to get as close to these birds as I could without scaring them away. I wanted to get a little bit closer so I could change my composition, but when I did they flew off. 
what's your favorite peer to shoot? Leave a comment below to let me know. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.